going to tack this on to the start of the video. So um, you understand that under design fundamentals is where you find Adobe Color, which will help you with establishing uh, color harmonies for your uh the, the theme we're going to be talking about, the colors that the client wants. And then in Illustrator Tips and Tricks, uh, there are skill sets here that I will refer to and I will continue to add new tips and tricks, which will help you complete this project in our little short time frame. I need you to spend just a little bit of time, please, understanding what it is we're doing for the Norse players in creating their thematic posters, plural posters. We're just starting with one, but there's a theme we're going to carry through that the theater director wants us to embrace in our design brief. Okay, we have some of the information. This, of course, the title is the most important part, uh, but she's going to provide the rest of this soon, <laughs> as in the next few days, hopefully. Now, number one, keep your the tabs under control. Some of you have the Mac Lab open, you know, three, four times. Don't do that. Um, the poster design brief, and I want to cut back, command one, back to where I was to open up the thumbnails. And you guys know you can move these things around. This is, this is our visual instruction. This is the first play, second play, third play. You can see that here we have a Greek theme. Here there's uh, there's trees, and here there's uh, kind of a junkyard theme. And that's the nature of these three posters, but she wants them to look similar. But she also says she's leaning towards number two. And down here, number two has the columns instead of just sitting there in the, the, off to the sides. They're actually pushed out to the edges of the poster, and the trees would be on the edges and the junk, which gives a lot more room in the center for uh, the the elements that also represent symbolically what it is the play is about. Okay, do you have to use columns, busts, lightning bolts, and laurel wreaths? No, but this is, these are iconic Greek elements which help place the poster in a period of time, which is what you're trying to communicate. So you see how all three posters follow kind of this theme. Got it? Now, I make command two to go to the second tab and hit command plus to zoom in here. Um, she wants the posters to look cohesive, just like I was talking about in the theme. And this is Grossmont College's season from last year. And you might say, oh, I get it. She wants a circle with these two colors. No, no, she does not want that. I showed you her thumbnails. This is just her explaining that she wants all three posters to follow us a look and feel. It doesn't have to be this clean, and it won't be. But uh, she also has a color palette, you know? And for the Greek mythology, she wants blue, white, cream, gold, green. That These colors that you'll pick from adobe.color.com, and I'll show you where that is in a minute. She also wants elements, you know, and you can see she's got ideas here. Can you deviate from those? Yes. It's kind of hard. These are, these are classic Greek elements. I'm going to show you how to take a JPEG, a raster image, and turn it into a vector, uh, which has no pixelation. It'll just be black and white elements. Uh, so I will show you that tomorrow or the next day. But for right now, just know that this is what we're working with for the first poster. We're not going to Into the Woods yet. We're starting here with the Greek poster. And then if you scroll down, she's got more information, more examples. And she's, you know, don't say, oh, this is what she wants. No, this is not what she wants. Let me hit Command 3. Command three, not option three. And this is what she wants. Something like this. Okay, so we have direction here. Uh, that's enough to get you started. Read this. I mean, look at these. Look at what she wrote. Look at what is said here. Scroll through. Think about it. Don't worry about the other two posters yet. But you have the beginnings of what you're doing. And I'll 
show you in the next one. Well, you know how to make a new file in Illustrator. Let's just do it right now. Command N, you know, or click on new file. Click on web, web, web right here. Okay, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to change pixels to inches. Um, it's going to be 11, not 13. Now I'm going to hit tab a couple times to get down to the height. And by 17, and then we're going to make one more change. We have a single artboard, but we're going to stay in RGB. We're going to change this screen to 300 to high right here. And this says for raster effects, we're not using it for raster effects. But there's a reason for this. We'll talk about it later. Got this? 11 by 17. We're in web. RGB high 300. Just leave it there for now. Click Create and you're ready to roll.